there everybody, it's me, the favorite libertarian in my plate carrier. Today I'm going to start a multi-part series on my plate carrier workout that I do throughout the week in my plate carrier. First we're going to go through a few disclaimers. I am not a workout expert, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a personal trainer, I'm just some guy on the internet that works out in his plate carrier. So anything that I tell you, take with a grain of salt, do your own research, and do at your own risk. With all the workouts that you're going to see, you want to make sure that you keep your back straight, you keep your legs slightly bent, and you engage your core. That's going to help prevent injury as you're doing these different things. And if at any point in the workout something doesn't feel right, or it hurts, or you're getting any type of sharp pain, stop doing it. It's not worth having some type of injury, especially at our age. And a bonus tip, everybody starts somewhere. So start with the weight and reps that work for you and work your way up once it starts feeling too easy. Why working out in a plate carrier makes sense. You're in an area where there aren't any gyms open because some new variant came out. You can't afford a membership. The gyms are just too far away. You don't have any workout equipment at home other than this. A home gym is just too pricey. And you just might want to be able to move with force and speed while you're wearing ballistic protection. And lastly, it's a great way to test your gear. I'll probably get questions on how much everything weighs that I'm working out in, so I'm going to go ahead and answer that right now. First off, we have the plate carrier, and the plate carrier with three mags that are loaded to 28 rounds each up here, two on this side, two on this side, loaded the same way, the backpack, the panel that attaches the backpack, the plate carrier, the medical kit, and plates all comes out to a grand total of this many pounds, rounded down. Then we have the weights that I will be using. These are some pretty inexpensive dumbbells. You can actually take them apart and they weigh less if you take some of this off, obviously. But these little guys weigh this much. Now I'll show you some other equipment I use. Whatever this thing is called. This thing. And this. So that's all the stuff I use, but you don't have to use all that stuff. Start with wherever you're at and work your way up. That concludes the intro portion of this workout series. Really excited to go on this fitness journey with you. Simply click next in this playlist to go to the next video and be sure to remember the safety tips and disclaimers as I am just some guy on the internet that works out in his play career. All right, see you there.